Lack of available well-trained coaches, cultural differences as well as alleged corrupt practices have been identified as factors limiting the participation of women in sports. This came to the fore at a one-day Women in Sports Dialogue in Abuja. Former Director General of the defunct National Sports Commission, Al Hassan Yakmut, and several stakeholders say practices affecting the participation of women in sports must be eradicated. They all agreed that the outcome of the discussion of the Women in Sports Dialogue will be forwarded to the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Youths and Sports to form part of a planned national policy on women and sports. The communique of this dialogue must produce a blueprint that will groom the female athlete from point of discovery and also any development in terms of technical before you move to high performance. Until we get corruption out of the way, because you need to understand, you saw a woman there who talked about um, coaches sleeping with athletes and that is corruption. You saw the coaches association chairman, ex-chairman who talked about administrators having their own agendas, which is totally different from that of the coaches and the athletes themselves. Now that we're still talking corruption here, you understand? We're talking about athletes who qualify and those who don't qualify and their names being switched. The article of this panel will be drafted into a blueprint that we're going to submit to the sport ministry, that will be submitted to the Nigeria Olympic Committee and also to universities, letter universities, uh, universities offering courses in human, uh, human kinetics education. So we want to create a blueprint that will be used for academic and um, educational purposes. Anyone that is going to train female athletes must be versed in psychological, physiological, and autonomical development of a female athlete for you to be able to understand how you can impact knowledge on the athlete. Podium success is all about the athletes. The coach will not go to the field of play. It is the athlete that will go there and compete. And that is why we need seasoned coaches, well-trained coaches, and exposed coaches.